Hey you guys, today I want to talk to you guys about me being gay, my experience with being gay, <laughs> how I was brought up, all that stuff. Um, I'm making a video today um, to tell you guys my experience personally being gay and how it's evolved and changed throughout the years. It has changed a lot. Okay, let me freaking tell you. So, I remember when I was 16, 15, deciding on if I should come out. Let's jump to when I was five years old. I think I was five years old. Uh, me and my brother was watching High School Musical. <laughs> Um, and I remember me liking Zac Efron and then me talking to my brother and me being like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Do you like High School Musical? Don't you think that guy is cute? He's like, the guy? No, I think the girl's cute. Anyways, he told my mom and dad and I remember, I think my, I think my dad asked me, hey, are you gay? If you're gay, there's no problem with it. Just tell me. I'm just like, uh, no. Anyways, I waited, waited, waited. It got to a point that it was really messing with my mental state in school and my sexuality, and I didn't know who I was at the time. Um, and so one night, I got really upset with like my ex and like everything that was going on in school. Um, this guy wouldn't come out and it, it just kind of ruined me and I'm just like, why can't he come out? And it just started making me feel like there was something wrong with me. So I remember me being 16. I was in my room and I was just, uh, you know, I was so done. I wanted everything to be over. So I went in my room and I really wanted to kill myself. And then my mom broke in the door. My mom broke, you know, busted open the door. And then I told her that I was gay and I was like crying and she started crying and I'm like, mom, I'm so sorry I told dad before you. Like, I, I know I wanted to tell you, not dad, but dad kinda was like, hey, are you gay? Or I actually remember me sending the message, me being like, hey dad, um, would it be weird if me and Henry were kinda more than friends? And then he was like, boyfriends? Question mark, question mark. He's like, yeah, that's okay, buddy, or something like that. It's like, just know I'll always love you. He was really supportive, um, but then, this is where things started to get a little rough for me. I told him not to tell a soul, and then he told a lot of souls. Uh, tomorrow I wake up the next day, and I get a lot of messages from some of my family and friends, and they're like, hey, you know, I've only known you were gay, blah, 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 and I'm like, no! And then I remember my grandma calling me, I was like, oh no. So then I had to like come out, I was forced to come out. So I had to literally call up everybody and be like, hey, you know, I'm gay. Like it was a lot, you know, to take in. <laughs> it was just so much. Anyways, 16, I got, I met this cute, cute, cute guy at Station Park. Um, I met him on the Hornet app, like, honestly, like, he was so down to earth and so special to me, and I remember going to Station Park and, like, afraid of holding his hand, and he's like, don't worry, no one will judge you, blah, 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 and I'm like, no, I'm just scared, and I remember him always wanting to hold my hand, and I was too scared, and he finally pushed me to that point to not care what anyone thinks, but it took at least a year or two for me to finally get over that. Because I remember when I was 15, 16, 17, 18, up until I was 18, I think I stopped getting a lot of hate for being gay. But it sucks because I feel so bad for older gay guys because here they are they already came out to their families and they're all alone because of the generations they were brought up in. It's not fair. And then here I am and other gay individuals, like we kind of like, we're lucky because it's so accepting now. And it's so sad. Like I like, am, like I think about all the lives that were lost or all the people that were bullied. And I was bullied for my whole life being gay. And it's so hard being gay because you don't have to come out once. You have to come out so many times and you have to keep coming out. It's a coming out process every single time. And it's annoying 
when people start hitting on me and I have to bring up, you know, I'm gay or something and it makes things awkward. But now it's at a point like, I like, I don't know. I see just a lot of gay people now and like, it's rare sometimes that girls hits on me just because like, I don't know. It's so weird. Like this generation, like, for example, my roommate brought a friend over and I was like really f freaking out because I thought they were like, you know, going to hook up or something and it doesn't even matter. I'm just like, cause I like still care about him and I still love him. And you know, and he was just, you know, telling me, you know, I'm just wanting a friend, you know, I just need friends. I'm like, no, that's cool. So then he brought a friend over and then I started having panic attacks, but I didn't take my medication for three days. So maybe that's why, but I remember me having lots of panic attacks and I was like, what the heck? And we all both felt weird that they weren't hooking up. It's this generation, isn't that weird? He was saying his friend said that when he dropped him off at home, he felt like it was his dad or sister or something. I'm just like, dude, it's this generation. Like, I cannot make any friends with like gay guys or girls that like, doesn't think I'm like, like they think I'm attractive. My throat's closing up. Like, it's sad. Like, it's just so sad that I can't have any friends without them like, attracted to me i need to get over that like oh well you know it just screws up my head i'm just like i'm gay you know it's just uh and it just and i don't want like sympathy i i feel bad for like the older gays because they you know they lost their some lost their families some aren't even out yet because like their mom or grandma or dad judges them and it's so uncool and it's sad because it's like who do you, like, I'm so confused. I, I can't p piece it around my brain. Like, who's it to you to judge someone for loving differently? Like, why do you have to judge someone for loving differently? Like, we need more love in this world. As you guys can see, there's a lot of negativity. We need a lot more love and positivity. So, like, love is love. <laughs> it's just so crazy how, like, being gay is, like, evolving. And, like, I remember me being so, like me being bullied for being gay forever. And I remember me in high school, a girl stood up for me and I was like, I honestly cried because it meant so much to me. Like imagine your whole life being bullied and then you go in high school and then at 17, you're around like a group of people that says like they bash gays in one way or another. And you know you're gay because you came out because I came out, you know, when I was forced out. But at 17, I was in high school and these people were talking about gays and like, Oh, they're weird, dude, or something. And then this girl was like, you know what? Being gay is cool. Like, it was, it just felt so good for me. She's like, being gay is cool. Like, F who, whoever judges gays. And it just made me feel so good. And then the guy left. And I was like, my heart. <laughs> like, she made me feel so special in school. Um, But yeah, it's crazy how, like, being gay is evolving. I know, like, right when I told my mom I was gay, she was, like, scared of, like, Everything I was going to go through, all the pain, all the suffering, being judged, getting bullied, blah, blah, blah. But now, thank goodness, it's getting more and more and more and more accepting. But, yeah. I just wanted to let you guys know my gay experience and how crazy it is to, like, see me getting bullied for so long and then finally feeling normal in some way to not, like, you know? It's just, it, it's crazy, so never judge someone for being gay because I promise you it's not a choice. And for those who thinks it's a choice, maybe they've had experiences in their life where they felt bi or they know of friends that could change. But in reality, gay people, 100% gay people, not bisexual, gay people cannot change. They're gay and they were born that way. Um, I was born gay and I'm happy to be gay. Um, it is sure a struggle. I wish I wasn't gay, but, you know, that can't change. Um, you know, I, you can't change that. Because trust me, I would change that if I could. All the bullying and all the judgment I get. And trust me, me and girls get, uh, like, we have a lot in common. Ooh, like, I have more in common with girls than I do boys and guys. And that's just sad. Um, but I am getting into new things like video games and all that stuff. I mean, I guess that's kind of boyish. I don't know. I try to like get into new activities that I haven't been in to. 
um because it's always good to change up your routine and change up things but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video please go give this video a big ol' like and comment down below what was your coming out story was it positive was it negative if so i'm so so sorry and bless your heart and soul also hit the bell notification to get notified every time i upload and i will see you guys in the next one bye